Hello everyone, we're back with a brand new video. Uh, today we're playing Pokemon Online TCG and yes the title is kind of clickbaity. We're not opening that many packs in real life, we are opening them on the game. Uh, shout out Kieran for uh, giving me all the codes for all of these packs. Um, quite a few, quite a few packs to be opened. Fucking, you must have loved fucking Unified Minds you cunt. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. So, uh, yeah, basically, we're just going to open all of these packs on the online TCG. If you've never played the online TCG before, I, I don't know why. If, if you like Pokemon cards, this is honestly the place to be because you get cards. Gee, that's a really fucking cool Gibble card. Obviously, you don't get these cards in real life. They're just on the game. But you can actually battle with them. And, I mean, I'm never going to be any good the actual battling um, in real life so on the game where like I can sort of get a hang of what to do uh, I think it's a really really cool idea and every time you buy a pack in real life you get a code card with online packs Jesus Christ that's a really fucking cool card I might need to make a deck around that that's really fucking good Uh, obviously, at the minute we are opening Hidden Fates packs, one of the most popular sets ever. Um, I call it all reason. It will keep on going. And yeah, like this is. I think this is a really cool way of opening packs. So we get the reverse hollow. It's a Snorlax, and the hollow is a full art Giovanni's Exile. Just call up to two of your bench Pokemon that have no damage shadows on them, and all cards attached to them. Why the fuck would you ever want that card? Right. Obviously, when it comes to the online TCG, you're looking for more usable cards than what looks cool because obviously you don't have the cards physically. Big up an Ekans. A reverse hollow mute. That is a cool looking card though. And an electrode. So obviously you do want just more practical cards that you're going to use. Um... If you'd like to see a video on me actually playing the TCG, let me know. Um, I'm not very... we got both missed in mind. Jesus, that's really strange. I'm not actually very good at the game, but I do enjoy it. Um, you know, I, I, I beat quite a few people. I'm Mewtwo GX. I mean, that's not exactly a bad card. Um, we're essentially just stacking out my, um, my club, if you will, if you want to... Uh, my decks, my uh, options. Boom. I, I probably will be making a deck around that Mewtwo. Or oh, maybe the, the Tag GX. Articuno Moltres, Zapdos. These last few packs haven't been great. Can these pick up? Fire Energy on the front. A Fire Pokemon at the back. A Cosmom. Oh, that's not great. I haven't actually opened many of the uh, packs outside of Sword and Shield. We've gone for the rare. We've got an Espeon GX. I clicked that by accident. I don't know if you can see my mouse on the uh, on the screen. I don't know what OBS is doing. I think you can. Um, I'll just check. Yeah, you can. Uh, a Morlul, a Repel, and a Cloister regular rare. I didn't mean to click get more. Go back to the collection. Uh, so... Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Packs. So yeah, essentially, no, don't, don't, no, open. Don't be trading. What the fuck would you ever trade packs for? I think it's a really, really cool idea. We're just gonna keep opening the packs, see what's going on. A Ryolu, a Rotom Dex Finder mode, and a Persuasion. That's. I might put that into my hand. Um. I do have an actual um, setup that I play with. It includes two Toxicities and a Snorlax VMAX. And essentially, I've just got like three decks in one. Obviously, Snorlax being a, uh, a normal type, you can attach any energy you want. If you know how you play the TCG, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, to give it a quick breakdown, essentially, you shuffle your cards... Um, out into your hand, you pick at random, you don't get 
structures and so it just the game does it for you um, and then you have to attach energy cards to use the move so take this metang to use ram we would have to attach this metal energy to it and then we could do 20 damage obviously to get to metang we would have to evolve from beldum and to get to metagross we would have to evolve from metang and there you go that is a fucking really really cool last card might be a good card to use as well especially if i was using that as a support card getting five cards from the thing and 150 damage yeah that is a very very obviously we can only use that once so yeah, that's a really fucking good card you know that's a very good card um yeah that's uh essentially how the game works and then you just keep battling with your opponent every time you kill a pokemon you get to pick a prize card which you get onto your hand um if you kill a gx card you get two i think for a v max you get two and for like the super megas some you get three so like there's a mewtwo card i've killed before and got three cards so it's not like it's unfair me picking gx cards because if they kill me they get extra prizes so it's sort of like a risk reward obviously going into the battle you don't know what your opponent's typing is going to be typically because you can't this electric energy cannot go on to this fighting type you can attach as many as you want and it will never be able to use the move so typically people either use normal types because you can attach anything or they just go with um say a a set type and stick with it obviously that's the risk you got to play obviously there is types better than others that's quite cool uh, a venomoth regular rat this is going to take quite a while boys and girls so uh, if you are enjoying go get yourself some snacks for seven minutes in get yourself some snacks get yourself a drink sit down relax i don't know what we'll talk about throughout this video but if you are looking forward to seeing me open some more pokemon cards uh like and subscribe that'd be fucking great share it with your friends um, and we're just going to keep blasting through these packs because uh, I, I think it's quite fun. we got a Fire Crystal and a Butterfree. Shout out Butterfree, my favourite Pokemon. So, I don't know why Butterfree is my favourite Pokemon. I just absolutely love the thing. A Hypno Reverse Hollow and a Dugtrio Regular Rare. Lickitung, Lit and Krabby, Tangler, Oddish. Reverse Hollow Crocar and a Katana Ultra Beast Hollow. Now look at that. This is something you don't get the patterns flowing on real cards. That is fucking cool. I think this is one thing the game has on physical cards. Like they can do a lot more with it. So obviously they do. A a Mar Shadow Machamp GX. Now I do have that card in real life, except I have the Japanese version of it. From uh, Tag All Stars, which I don't know if I made the video on that one. I'm not sure if I got that one out of the video or not. Um, a Sharpedo. That's a cool artwork on the Sharpedo. I'm quite impressed with that. We've got a lot of packs to be getting through. Jesus Christ. Uh, Vicar Vault. Let's just keep on going. There's like a. I, I don't actually know how many packs there is because I'm going to work out afterwards what this video is titled it's probably going to be something along the lines of i opened 200 pokemon packs and this is what i got um a haunter a glygar reverse hollow and a greninja zoroark gx now that is a card i'm interested in getting into a, a, a deck you just stack it with darkness energy and do shit loads of damage on a dark pulse that's quite cool and it's basic the best thing about tag teams is they're basic so you don't have to go through the struggle of evolving them because if you don't get the card that you want or say you end up with it in the tr uh, in the prize pile you just fucked um which is why my typical deck has multiple ways of getting around that's quite cool my favorite non just a standard card, that's one of my favourite, I just think it's really cute. 
the fact there's a plushie of the plushie from the Alpha Squad unit, I think it's really cute. A reverse hollow Rhyperior. And a full art the Dene GX. That's really cool. That's a really, really cool card to get. I'm never going to fucking use it. But it's really cool. Aram, reverse hollow Oddish. And a crammable regular rare. These Sun and Moon packs, man. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hey, shout out Caterpie. The Evolution Spray. Why would you ever use the Evolution Spray? What? I, I don't know why you'd ever need the Evolution Spray, but that seems like a waste of time. Melmetal. Green's Exploration. Shout out. Green and uh, Liquor Lily, or whatever the fuck it's called. Fairy Energy. This is going to be a good pack. Whenever there's a Fairy Energy, there's a Fire... Never mind. Never mind. No, we'll, move. We'll, we'll swiftly move on. We'll swiftly move on. Reverse Hollow Oddish and another Mars Shadow Machamp GX. Big up. That's a really... I like the old artwork on that card. Um, you know, the fact they got a uh, like a Gen 1 Machamp with a... Uh, oh, That is a fire Pokemon hat. And Cinnaroar. That's a very, very nice artwork as well. What are we getting this time round? Polyrath and a Spiritomb. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. We'll just, uh, we'll move, we'll move. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this video, whether I uh, cut it down and just show you some of the better packs, because like, that is a fucking stinky pack. Or if we're just going to leave it raw um, as it is. Not sure, not sure. If you are enjoying the Pokemon content on the channel, please let me know in the comments, because uh, I opened a real life pack opening uh, last Saturday. I don't know what day this video is going out on. Um, I seem to just record as many as I can and just release them when fucking ever. What, whenever I want, basically. Try and do two a week, but you know. Recording videos every day is difficult. A Galarian Stonefish and a Victory Bout. These packs are getting stinky. Sun and Moon and Broken Bonds. Not the best of packs. Ooh, a Whimsicott GX. Full art. That's a cool ass Pokemon. Fairy type as well. I told you, fairy types hand out. Fairy types hand out. Rapini, Giovanni's Exile. I know he's got a gold. He's not even going to seek him. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, big old Butterfree. Solar Beam on the Butterfree as well. I do love a Butterfree. They're just really, really cool. Butterfree, uh, Bye Bye Butterfree is by far the best Pokemon episode ever made. Um, it's really, really sad. I cried at that. I cried at that episode, man. Bye Bye Butterfree is just such a. It's a, it's a heart puller, man. It's a heart puller. A crocodile which evolves from a sandile into a crocodile. It's a crocodile with sunglasses. I mean, it, it's cool, but. It's when Pokemon just sort of lost their creativity. Like, look at Clefairy. Then you look at like a crocodile. Like, look at Spiritomb, man. Look how cool that is. It looks like something straight out of SpongeBob. Can't lie, not great. You'll see a lot of these, I and mean, that's a really fucking cool gibble. And a sea of a Sivali. I've never seen this Pokemon in my life, but it's a hollow with a moving background, so I cannot be mad. Joltic, Dratini, Yungos, Yamma, Hoot Hoot, and a Electros Hollow. Again, never seen the Pokemon in my life, but it's got a cool ass background, so I like it. Axe you into a Reverse Hollow Dragonite. I mean. It's, uh, why? Jesus Christ! Rainbow Rep, Mega Sableye, and Tyranitar GX. That's a very good card. Oh my god. If you absolutely stack that card with energies, you discard the top 15 cards of your opponent's deck. 
If your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX is not attacked by this damage will attack, take one more prize card. So essentially, stack the shit out of that card and obliterate. You just gotta try and set that up though. It takes like ten turns just to get the moves on it. What the fuck? Oh, so it's a move. It gives them a move. That's pretty cool. Noivern, Reverse, Hollow, and a Torapex. Regular Rare. Not too great, not too great. Uh, I can't, I can't really. Hey! Slowpoke! Jesus Christ, I'm naked. Keep yawning, man. Slowpoke and Psyduck GX. Again, the, oh, it's a cool artwork. It's not very useful. Ditch and Splash. Uh, it's not a great card to use, but it looks cool. It looks cool. The Orion View. Jesus Christ. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. So this is the non Rainbow Rare version. You can see it's like an alternate artwork. Because before the Mega Sableye was over the Tyranitar's shoulder. Uh, that's really cool. That's a cool. I've got both in the same. same. Uh, but yeah. I could build a deck around that, that's a, something I could definitely build a deck around. I think what we're going to learn is I'm going to open all of these packs and then um, quickly be uh, making new decks and maybe making videos on the decks that I make from these packs. Potentially. A Scraggy Reverse Hollow Lake Drake Girl Breaking the Rare. Chad. Hey, a full art Caudio GX. Now that is cool. The way it matches the background like perfectly is really nice. It's really clean. Quite like that. <coughs> oh, I'm shattered making this video. I stayed up all night because this is the the day after Edward got sacked. So we uh we may have stayed up celebrating a man losing his job, which you know it doesn't sound too nice. But fuck Edward Wood, man. The, what he did to my club is is disgusting. Hopefully the uh. The absolute sham of an owner's follow him out the door. And Jesus Christ, we've pulled a Rainbow Rare GX Kelio. That's like the third Rainbow Rare we've pulled in this pack opening, I think. It was the Tyranitar. Maybe, no, the second, the second. Kelio and the Tyranitar. It might have been the third. Why do I think there was three? A Latias, a legendary Pokemon, but not a, not a, not a great one. Another legendary in a Cresselia, a Vatini, which I think is like legendary or something. And another Caldeo GX. Caldeo is finding its way into my packs today. Jesus Christ. Fleshling, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow Slandit, and a Alolan Marowak regular rare. They're not, they're not giving out, but, you know, there's, there's a little couple handouts coming. 50 active damage. My favourite card in the whole world, Giratina and Garchomp GX. Now I've pulled two of these from a uh, Tag All Stars in real life, and uh, it's just my favourite card in the world. It just is my favourite card in the whole world, and now I've got it on this. I am definitely getting this into my team. Building a psychic deck, I reckon. It's just the best. It's just the best. Look, I just love it. Obviously, Giratina is one of my favourite legends, and Garchomp is one of my favourite Pokemon. Being from the Sinnoh games, you just you just love it. You just do love it. And there's a Gibble to follow it up. Reverse Hollow Honchkrow and a Slowpoke and Psyduck GX Full Art. Again, alternative art. With the, that's a the out. Stare at the outlines of this card and you'll probably break your eyes. Because that is hurting mine, just looking at it. Boys, we need a like for the Giratina and the Garchomp, man. We need a like on this video for the Giratina and the Garchomp. How can you be a Pokemon fan and not, not love those Pokemon? So, Drift, Drift Yeah, I was, uh, I was yawning, I was just 
sort of taking my time getting through the packs because I was thinking we're going to be cutting this because the packs aren't great with a Gabite. Hey, an Alolan Raichu and a Raichu Tag Team GX. I didn't even know this was a thing. That's really, really cool. I believe this is a full art one as well because of the, the art. That's really cool. I like that card a lot. The hollow card, again, I just don't, I just don't care for it. Reverse hollow, Marina Jirachi GX full art. Jesus Christ, why can't I get this sort of pause in real life? How come every time I open a pack it's... It's like a... One of these packs where it's like, oh look. Regular rare, reverse hollow, maybe a hollow that you're not ready to... Like, this is the pack I get in real life all the time. Reverse hollow stadium or not. Bloody... That's not okay, just, just fucking keep it moving. There's 12 packs of unifying minds to go and then we are through the bulk of it. Dra Dragon Air. And a Rowlet and a Lolan Executor GX. That's a very, very cool Pokemon card yet again. We are pulling some good ones. We are pulling some good ones. We're pulling some stinky ones. Uh, you know, swings and roundabouts. Swings and roundabouts. A Leopard. That's not, that's not great. A Leopard is not great. We've not had many back-to-back-to-backs. -to -back -to We've had a couple back-to-backs. Talonflame Hollow. We've had a couple hits, we have had a couple hits. We're down to the final 10 of these specific pack types. Lucara. Right, we're into Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze now. Two packs of these. Two packs of these indeed. Wishy Washy, Torchic, a Staravia, and a Feeble Regular Rare. Darkness Ablaze, pack number two. What do we get? We get ourselves a reverse hole Aaron and a rainbow rare rose. Let's go. It's not a good card. Attach two base energy cards from your discard pile to your v Pokemon V Max if you hadn't attained you. Yeah, like don't. It's not a good card, but jeez, look at him stunning. That's a f what the. Hmm? You just chuck that out. Okay, that's a weird, it's a weird fossil thing. But we got a rainbow rare rose from the darkness of blaze pack number two. Right, we're gonna go steam siege next because no one cares about steam siege. Now, now we're in the final ten packs or so. We're gonna open steam siege, then we'll do evolutions. I think. I think we'll save evolutions for last. Evolutions is like obviously evolutions is the reprint of base set. So um, I think we'll leave evolution to last. We'll do breakpoint next. One pack of breakpoint. Get it out of the way. No one cares about. We'll just skip. No one cares about. No one cares about Steam Siege. Oh look, we got a two. This is why no one cares about Steam Siege. This is also why I've clicked on the wrong thing again. No one cares about Steam Siege, man. No one cares about it. Yeah, five packs to go. Break. We'll do breakpoint, vivid voltage. Then we'll finish this off with evolutions, because evolutions. Being the reprint of base set, it's probably the packs you're going to know the most. The Pokemon you're going to know the most. Get it, get it last. Bayleaf and a Zeb Striker. Not great. Sword and Shield Vivid. 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 <laughs> Not allowed to speak. It's 30 minutes in. I forgot how to talk. A Hollow Duralodon. The final Vivid Voltage pack. We've got two. We've got a reverse hollow Dancy and a Galarian Damatan V. That is very cool. Two packs to go. Please, may I say, boys and girls, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Check the links for any like other uh, external sites, Instagram, and all that is in the description. I post on all of those as well. Go follow me, whatever. We hit it off with a Yellow Cheeks reprint Pikachu, a Reverse Hollow Magikarp. Oh, looking at these packs, man. A Hollow, it's not non-Hollow, Electrode. The final pack of the video. I know I just said it, but if you have enjoyed, like and subscribe. Because this video has taken me a serious amount of time to scan all these cards, get it in. Big shout out to Kieran for giving me all the cards for absolutely nothing. What a boy, man.
Onyx Reverse Hollow, which means we've got something fucking good in this pack. A flying Pikachu and a Polyrath Hollow to finish it off. Oh, this is why I love um, this fucking set. This set is really cool. We got another flying Pikachu. Oh, shout out to the boys. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.